what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and uh this wednesday we're not doing a review i'm actually going to show y'all a little trick i do for a kennel fan now disclaimer just real quick i didn't actually come up with this idea one of the guys i trained with and my friend dusty showed me this and um it's a pretty quick little uh cheap hack to get a fan on your kennel um, we leave boone's kennel in the truck bed all the time um, for transportation and this whole setup cost me no more than $60. So I'm going to leave some links for the fan. You get it at AutoZone. And all it is is an electric radiator fan. It's a 10-inch fan. Um, and then I just bought a trailer wiring harness. And we'll go ahead and go back there. I'll show you how I mounted it, how I wired it up. And it's installed on a Rufflin Intermediate kennel. So it would work on an Intermediate and up. Anything smaller than Intermediate, it's probably not going to work. Okay, guys? And it... He has his on his gunner kennel, but if you compare the prices of kennel fans, guys, the rough land fans, they're about $200. I know the gunner fans, they're about $200 or so. dollars. Some people use battery powered fans, but I just threw a deep cycle battery in my toolbox and run it to that. So let's go ahead and take a look at it real quick. And if you're new here, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me and stick around for more to come. I appreciate all y'all for watching. All right, guys, so here's just a quick peek of it. Um, like I said, this is an intermediate size Rufflin kennel, and here's the fan, and what I did, it has four holes, and I zip tied two zip ties on each hole to mount it. Now on mine, I did trim it right through here on this plastic piece, so that way I could still use this side, but I really only use one side of the door, and as you see, the cover's messing with it, but as you see, it doesn't interfere with the door at all, and it closes right back up, and then all I did was get some wire cover, um, I cut the plug that it comes with off and got a four pin trailer wire harness. Um, so let's get this plugged in. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys. So all plugged into the battery and there she goes blowing away. I'm sure you can hear the wind on it, but uh, it does. And I just close it up and leave it running. And with that deep cycle battery, it'll last a long time. But like I said, it just runs right back here to uh, the four pin, which runs back to the training box. So all I did for this, guys, was just drilled a hole in the bottom of the box, and then, uh, like I said, I got my battery, and I just ran my uh, wires straight to it. Yeah, guys, it's a real quick, easy hack. Um, to save you some money, I'll leave some links down below to the fan, and uh, you don't have to use a four pin wiring harness if you don't want to. I just chose to because they're cheap. It was $6, um, and it's plenty long enough. It's really about as much as it would cost to buy a roll of wire and the plug is nice because you can just quick disconnect take the kennel out if you ever need to and not worry about all the long wires hanging off so i like it if you wanted to you could just extend those wires and chop them off but i'm sure y'all could figure out some different ways to wire it up i just wanted to share that with y'all if you found this helpful at all please just hit that subscribe button guys follow us on facebook and instagram and stick around we got more to come and check out the podcast guys